to free up the motor, this is just velcroed on access panel. Come down here, and right there is the fan blade for the pump motor. What we did is mine was just humming when I'd turn it on, and it would not turn, it would just buzz. We took a flat bladed screwdriver, stuck it in between there, and pried up against the fan blade to free it up. And once it freed up, we did that with the power turned off, by the way. Once it freed up and turned, and you come up here, <clears throat> and this is the power button to turn it on. This controls the air bubbles, allows it to suck in air for one side, and you just turn it to all the way, it just turns a quarter turn to the right, and a quarter turn to the left, and this does the air bubbles on the other side. And to open and close your jets, rotate these outer rings. You can aim the jet where you want it. Turn, in. so I'll demonstrate. So come over here. That is a pressure operated switch. It produces air pressure into a switch on the motor. So there's no electricity up here at all. So turn to the left to close the jets. So that would I close that one. That'll increase the uh, pressure in the other jets. That one's off. So left is closed. Right is all the way open. And then we have air bubbles now. So we turn this to the right. That turned the air off to the right side, I believe. So now the air is turned off on both sides. It's kind of hard to tell where the jet's pointed up. So now I'm going to turn it counterclockwise. And now we have air on the left side. Now it's off. Turn this counterclockwise. Now there's air on the right side.